My name is Trevor Hirschfield. I play on the Canadian wheelchair rugby team. Um, I'm classified as a low pointer, which means that I help uh, the guys with more function get all the glory and score all the goals. Um, from Parksville, BC, I'm currently living in Vancouver. Wheelchair rugby is a fast-paced, high-contact sport developed for people with impairment in uh, three or more of their limbs. So I was injured when I was 16 in a, a car accident and broke my C5-6 vertebrae and left me a quadriplegic. And going through rehab at GF Strong, I was introduced to the sport of wheelchair rugby by Duncan Campbell, who was one of the co-inventors of the sport. Um, for me, it's pretty much what helped me get through my injury and turned into my lifelong passion. The Richmond Olympic Oval has been here since day one. Um, I remember training at the Oval while they were getting ready for the, the Olympic Games in, in 2010, um, pushing in the parking lot here and, and then moving from the parking lot to the floors as they renovated after those games and, and being able to have everything under one roof and the support from their staff, uh, their high performance trainers, as well as being able to, to get our, our sports science all under one roof. Uh, they've been a big key to my personal goals and, and reaching the Paralympic Games. Being one of the captains on this team is pretty easy. Um, there's a lot of veterans on this team who've played much longer than I have, so there's, as far as I'm concerned, there's 12 leaders out there and anytime you get one of those veterans speaking up, uh, everyone turns and listens. Um, as, as a captain, I just feel that it's important to lead by example, uh, especially in the training environment back home and, and in training camps and, and just always being focused and, and working and just working as hard as you can towards those goals. Off the court, to uh, try and keep things light, uh, we got a good group of guys, everyone's got a good sense of humor, so everyone's kind of trying to keep things light and, and uh, keep everyone relaxed, especially during major tournaments and, and going into the Paralympics. We don't play till the last five days, so it's important that we're able to, to joke around with each other and, and kind of take a break when we're, when we're not in the gym or on the court playing and, and just really take the time to, to focus when we are in the court. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that I got married last year, but for those who don't, I got married last year in September and uh, looking forward to celebrating my first anniversary here in September. Yeah, the Travis is single hashtag. I'm not quite sure how it got started. Uh, somebody uh, ended up adding it to an Instagram post or whatnot, but uh, it's caught on and it's pretty funny to, within the team and to see people outside of the team actually buying into it and, and adding that to, to certain pictures is great. Uh, Travis has a great sense of humor and he's, he's always joking around and, and I mean when you come into the room he's probably the guy that's talking so uh, it's, it's fun to, to joke around with him and bug him and he, he seems pretty alright with it so we're gonna keep that going and hopefully we can get that viral at some point here at the Paralympics and, and get a bunch of uh, our Canadian sporters involved. Travis is constantly looking for love. Uh, he, uh, he's an easy guy to love and uh, I think uh, Rio's a great spot for him to find that, that, that partner. So winning the silver medal in London was amazing and the four years since then leading up to Rio here, uh, our team's grown amazingly. Um, just the work that every individual has put in off the court and then in training camp environments, the technical work that we're putting in. It's really exciting leading into Rio and uh, we're looking for that gold medal. Definitely nothing less than that gold medal. Representing Team Canada is always an honor. Uh, as young kids we grow up watching the World Juniors and, and Olympic hockey and we're, we're very proud Canadians. Anytime that you're able to, to put the maple leaf on the front of your chest and represent your country is, it's, it's a heck of a feeling and uh, being able to do that for the third time at the Paralympics uh, is a very, very big honor and I'm glad that I'm able to do it. My message for, for kids enrolled in the high performance programs and looking to maybe one day be the next Olympian is, is to work hard for whatever it is that you want, whether it is sport, inside of sport or outside of sport. Uh, Nothing in this world is going to be given to you, you're going to have to earn it. 
And um, I, I mean, something that I've always uh, used when I'm training is uh, I can't is not an option. So you're going to need to find a way, figure out a way to make get things done and, and, and finish whatever it is that you set your mind to.